Hi everyone, welcome to Tammy's Creative Cards and Crafts. I'm Tammy and I'm coming on today to um, share a small, um, I guess it's a little haul that I picked up. Um, I actually picked it up from, I go to a Stamping Up card club every month and in the summertime we all get together and pool um, items together that we are kind of not using or um, and have a, a little yard sale. So these are some things that I picked up from the yard sale. Some things are new and never have been used and some are um, lightly used. So I just wanted to show you um, some of those items and then I'm going to show you uh, something else that I've been working on this week. So I hope everyone is doing well and um, thank you for uh, joining me today if you're joining me on my channel. And um, so I'll just get right into it. So I got these little resin hearts, so cute. Aren't those sweet? Like I said, this stuff is stamping up and little tiny white and red hearts. Those are gonna be fantastic for cards. And then in this little package here, there is some little mini stars in the green and hearts. And then there's some in the peach color. And then I have some also in the pink and some in this blue and this uh, purple purplish color. I forget what the name of this color is. I think it's one of the new colors. Actually, I have it right here. It is called uh, Blackberry Bliss. Yeah. So those are going to be really cute on cards or any kind of little embellishments or, you know, you want to bling something up, make it cute. But I picked up that. Then I picked up these four stamp sets that I don't have. And um, I love, of course, stamp sets. I have many, many of them. So this one um, is called Love What You Do. And um, I liked the sentiments that it had. It says, it's a beautiful day. I'm lucky to have a friend like you. Uh, love what you do. Thank you. And then it has, I like uh, this one here. It's kind of, it makes it nice for a background. And, um, and then it has the little flowers and the stems. So that's really cute. And then there was this one. It was humming along and it has this gorgeous hummingbird wishing you an amazing birthday hope you feel better and thank you i love that one and i can just imagine doing this flower or the hummingbird or even both on a card with like watercolor doing it watercolor paper that'd be awesome then there was this really cute christmas one um, and it has uh, penguins and this polar bear. It was just adorable. And it's an older stamp set, but it hasn't been used much. Uh, polar Party it says, wishing you Christmas cheer and happy new year. And the little polar bears, or polar bear and the penguins are so cute. The little trees are sweet. So I picked that one up. And this one here, the little ladybug and I know a lot of people have seen this one uh, but I didn't have this one but I do have these little tiny uh, ladybugs embellishments and um, I thought it would be really cute so I picked up that one and that one's like brand new it hasn't even been used so then um, I also seen this little kit it's called a pretties kit and it comes like this and um, it's going to be hard to open this, but I'll try to open it on an angle so everything doesn't fall out. But there's all kinds of little um, pearls, 
little gems, um, little brads with the um, rhinestone in the end, flat back pearls, these beautiful uh, flowers, silk flowers, and there's all different sizes, little tiny ones. And um, there's even little tiny uh, beads here. And then there's a bunch of these uh, stick pins like this. And uh, here's one I just threw together right quick, just playing around with it. Um, but there's like 10 or 12 of those stick pins and then you can make all those different combinations with it. And I thought that was so cute. And I think I paid like $2 or something for this. It was definitely a steal um, because I couldn't even buy those stick pins for that price. So I thought that was a great little grab. Then I found all of these blends and I have a lot of blends. Um, and I found these ones and all of them are new. I found two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 16 blends in here. And um, blends are excellent. Um, they are alcohol markers and um, there's a double, there's two uh, tips on them. One is a wider one than the other side. I've done a video in the past uh, showing the blends, um, but you can um, color um, gems, ribbon. Um, the, the blends are meant to blend together. So it, there's usually, a, there's two uh, colors to one color. So let's give you an example here. There's a light and dark. See if this is the right color here. Dark olive. Okay, so this is a light olive and this is the dark olive. So when you're uh, blending, you would, you know, do the dark and then you could take the light and blend. Um, you could go around with the dark and then take the light marker and blend it in so it shades it into your, your picture. You can do so many things with these markers. Um, it's incredible. Look it up on YouTube and, or like I said, I even have a video that I done up and it was just all on the blends and uh, shows you the many things that you can do with it. Um, I also picked up a bunch of paper here and I'm not going to go through every single page, but a big stack of paper. And I think I only paid like maybe, I don't know, less than $10 for all this paper. And this one here is really nice. It's like antique -y type paper. And it has nice stripes and all different like colors you can see on the front here like that and then oops then there is a big bag of paper here and this is just like all mixed sheets in here there is christmas there is just like I said, a mixture of a little bit of everything. You can see Christmas, um, a little bit of everything, which is great because you never know when you're going to need uh, paper. So I picked up that, especially craft season. I'm always looking for paper. And then I picked up a whole pack, not even used of the neutrals 12 by 12 card stock. So this is all the neutral colors. There's 40 sheets in there. And um, like I said, that hasn't even been opened. So that was brand new. So that was what I um, got from the little yard sale. Another little um, thing that I was excited about I ordered from Amazon 
is this little gadget right here. Um, I recently purchased a new laptop and I wanted to install um, some extra memory. And I had this little, which I thought was great, this little um, screwdriver set. And it had a little tiny uh, screwdriver in here and all the little, the handle and all the little bits and everything. Well, it turns out it still wasn't small enough to open um, the laptop. So I ordered this on Amazon. It's all in here. And you click the top of it and it opens up and comes out and you have your screwdriver um, handle here. And then it has all the bits on this side and this side in every different size that you can imagine. Tiny, 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 um, right down to, you know, when you're looking for the smallest size to fix your glasses, um, your phone, anything. Um, the smallest little, <clears throat> excuse me, um, bit inside, like tiny. And the best thing about it, it's magnetic. So it doesn't fall out. And um, that's great. So this is going to help me a lot when I go to fix my laptop. And this is magnetic as well. So they don't, they, they go right back in there and um, they don't fall out. So if you're looking for something like this, uh, you can go on Amazon and, um, and check that out. I think it was called a uh, multi-tool um, screwdriver set. So that was my little purchase that I was excited about getting. So um, I've been uh, working away again, um, trying to build up stuff for my craft shows coming up in the fall. And I had uh, shared with you um, probably a month and a half or so ago, some fabric that I had purchased to make some book pillows. And so I uh, was working yesterday and I managed to make two. And so I'm going to show you those. So here is the first one. This is the uh, one here. And it has the handle on it. And this is a 16 by 16 pillow. And it has the big pocket in the front. As you can see, lots of room. And um, a child can put, you know, their book, um, snacks, um, a stuffy in there. There's all kinds of room. And then on the back, um, you can remove this uh, to make it easy for putting in the wash. <clears throat> I also put a generous overlap over there so it's not going to uh, bulge out or anything so you're not going to see the pillow inside. And here is the other one. It's the identical one but I put a book in there so you could see um, what it looks like. And I purchased all these books. I think I'm going to also get um, a little flashlight um, to go in there as well and have the book and the little flashlight for all the children uh, pillows. Because I'm also going to be making some um, adult ones uh, for to have on their beds as well or sofa uh, to put remotes in or a book or whatever and all you have to do like a child could take this to camp they can take uh, you know if they're upstairs in their room and they want to go to another room they can put their book in there or their um, Nintendo switch or 
whatever. They can stuff the pillow with it, take all their things, and then go to wherever they're going. They can take them overnight. Um, it can be a great little thing for a child. Um, I had picked up these books, these Disney books, um, and I think they're going to be fantastic in the in the pillows. There's the Lion King, the little Dumbo one, Alice in Wonderland, um, Bambi, Peter Pan, uh, the Aristocats, Robin Hood, Winnie the Pooh, Aladdin, um, Fox and the Hound, Pinocchio, and my favorite of all, Lady and the Tramp, of course, because it's puppy dogs. Um, so I think these are going to be really cute when I get them all done. I also am going to be doing a tutorial that I will be showing on my channel. Um, after I get out a couple more, I'll be doing a tutorial so you can see how easy these are to put together. Um, I also showed you the material for the unicorns and the unicorns were a unicorn panel. However, um, I thought that I was going to be able to use the unicorn for a pocket, but it's not big enough measured across. And I think it's going to be more work to use those panels because I would have to cut the panel, attach it to another piece of material, and then sew that on there and then use more material. I think it'd be more cost effective to get another piece of material that just has unicorns on it rather than start cutting all those out. So I think I'll use the panels for something else, maybe a quilt or something for my granddaughter. So I was wanting to show you these cute book pillows and the little haul that I picked up from my uh, stamping up um, yard sale. I hope that everybody is enjoying their day. Everything is nice and sunny here today in Nova Scotia. And um, if you are not a subscriber of my channel, please subscribe. I look forward to um, hearing how you are all doing in the comments. Um, select the like button and hit the bell and you'll be notified of my next video. God bless to each and every one of you and I hope that you are all doing well. Take care and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.